Hello bakers! Uh, this week I'm baking old-fashioned strawberry cake by Alison Roman. The Alison Roman love affair continues. I mean, she's so good, isn't she? Um, so first up, it's some unsalted butter into a bowl. <laughs> Fighting away with it. <laughs> That's always dropping it everywhere. And then some caster sugar. Recipe uses granulated, but I'm just using caster. Um, I made half the amount of uh, of this recipe um, and then it's meant to be light brown sugar but I saw I didn't have any so I used some dark brown sugar but I used less amount of dark brown sugar and then like topped up with with caster sugar and then some vanilla extract and then that goes into the stand mixer and gets like beaten together until it's nice and pale and light and fluffy and then it's some plain flour into a bowl and some baking powder and salt she uses kosher salt but i don't have any so you just used half the amount of table salt kind of giving it a kind of mixed together i'm always picking the wrong size bowl <laughs> just optimistic um i loved the sound of this recipe kind of it's kind of springtime here now and nice to kind of have those kind of fruit cakes and um, I don't I don't really know what an old-fashioned cake is so I thought I'd give it a go and then it's some buttermilk which uh, yeah I gave kind of a bit of a shake it was a bit it was a bit too liquidy on my first pour so this is it's all been kind of beaten together then adding an egg obviously as I was doing half the amount it was only one egg then beating that together again see it's a little bit kind of grainy and then adding half of that kind of flour mixture give it another beat some of the buttermilk I think you're kind of meant to do it while it's mixing together but just so you could see what it looks like I thought I'd do it all at uh, all on camera then the rest of the buttermilk then it gets a kind of final beat together until there's no large lumps um, and I don't know if you see it's really quite thick and stiff batter I don't know actually, if, I presume it's meant to be that way, I think it's meant to be quite a dense cake um, unless our buttermilk is a bit thicker over here but yeah it's kind of very it's very sturdy, sturdy mix. Um, just getting everything from the sides of the bowl. And then she says you can use any fruit. I thought I'd try with strawberries first, as that's how she kind of made the recipe. But about half of, that of the strawberries get folded in as best as you can. <laughs> as you can see, I was struggling here. It's just kind of like smishing around the edge of the bowl and not really getting stirred in. They were reluctant little buggers. But, um, I kind of kind of got there in the end um, so then that gets kind of poured scooped forced into the pan um, as, as best as possible and then kind of smoothed out a bit again it was it was a little reluctant but we try we persevere I just wanted to try and get it into all the edges of the pan and smooth it out as much as possible and where I could feel there were more strawberries clumped together I tried to I tried to move them about a bit so it wasn't quite as um, uneven and then you top with the rest of the strawberries or I guess any other fruit if you're using that it's just so pretty and kind of summery, isn't it? Almost feels virtuous when you have fruit in a cake as well. And then it's topped with some uh, demerara sugar. Just making sure I get into all the nooks and crannies. And then it's baked until it's like puffed and deeply golden brown it says about 45 minutes but I did half the amount I think mine was more like half an hour 
Okay, it's pretty much cooled down. I'm hoping it's baked. It's hard to tell with fruit, isn't it? Because it can still come out, like the skewer can still come out a bit coated. I think that's okay. Right, let's try. It's kind of dense. It's not a fluffy cake. It definitely does have that kind of donut feel. It's nice though, it's kind of butterscotchy and a bit jammy. I'm trying to think what it tastes like. It's really good. I can't put my finger on what it tastes like. It's not a traditional cake, it's got like a like a denseness, but it, it's a nice kind of dense, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Mmm, no, it's good. It's, yeah, don't know. Um, but I'd recommend it. It was very easy. I'd like to try it with different fruit. Um, and then, yeah, I'll see what my friends say. So I literally turned my back for one second and my partner devoured <laughs> most of this cake. Um, so it was a resounding success. My friend said it tastes like a scone with all the elements, so kind of the clotted cream, the jam and the kind of the scone. And I think she was right, this is kind of summery denseness, but it's in a cake form. So it was, yes, a huge success. I'm really looking forward to trying it with different fruit. Um, have you tried it? And let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.